Hey, what's going on, comic book community? I know it's, I know it's been a hot minute, and I've been slowly accumulating a, like a little stack of books, nothing too much. Uh, this one's mostly going to consist of LCSs and a couple of online buys, and then one LCS that I'm pretty much considering cutting off, mostly because it was mostly due to a holiday sale, and I felt like they were trying to pull another bait and switch so let's get right into it first up it's um the nelson yes that's uh, nearest to me it's a a really low grade readers copy of the punisher number two from the uh, limited series next up it's a uh, green lantern number zero the origin issue of simon bass and next up it's um the Punisher number one from the 2000 series, the Welcome Back Frank storyline, which was the inspiration for the 2004 movie. Uh, this next one is uh, my second copy, and uh, I guess most people can agree with the decline of the MCU as of late. Uh, you can leave it or take it. It's Ultimate Fantastic Four number 22, the first appearance of the Marvel Zombies. Um, supposedly the Ultimate Fantastic Four is what may or may not get adapted into the MCU, but given everything that's going on, I highly doubt it at this point. Um, I guess not so much spoiler alert, since apparently nobody saw the movie. Uh, it's a uh, flash number 141 the first full appearance of the black flash uh, the main villain of the movie which uh, if you guys have seen my review I guess enough time has passed where I felt that the movie version adapted it better than the CW uh, version of the flash where it's like a one-off like a uh, twist ending kind of way where this one in the movie is kind of more set up uh, I found that for five dollars uh, this one was a wall book I've I think I well I don't think I know that I mostly overpaid for it due to the condition it's a Godzilla King of the Monsters number one from the Marvel series um, I wish I could uh ask for a discount considering what they were asking for it but you live and you learn at least i have it now uh this next book is really mostly like a vanity buy because i traveled a long distance and really the only thing even worth like browsing was the their display case and even then it was like crowded and i felt like it was a little bit too overpriced but I just didn't want to leave empty handed considering I traveled almost 30 miles up just to go up there. And that's a Luke Cage Hero for Hire number 15. Uh, this one I did manage to talk them down. I got it. Uh, they had it for 10. I only paid 7 for it. So it's no big loss. But in reality, I just wanted to leave with something. Now, um, next up, there's these uh, set of books about that. LCS I was talking about that they tried to pull another bait and switch and I've considered just cutting this store off cold turkey uh, mainly due to every time there's like a holiday sale they're always advertising these sales like if it's a dollar to four dollars the book's going to be on sale for a dollar um, anything over four dollars is going to be 50% off and anything that's like ten dollars or more is not eligible for a discount now this is the second time i've gone to this store well not particularly this store but it's a chain of stores like the last one i went to was um run by one guy and then this one that i happen to go to is managed by another person and i felt like the majority of my time at this store during these sales is mostly wasted because 90% of their back issues 
are not even priced. The only thing that's ever priced are either the big wall books or just all their overstock, which is all that 90s like, garbage, if you know what I mean. Like, that's the only time that things are ever priced at that store. So it's like you go in and you spend one to two hours scouring their back issue bins, nothing is priced. And then you bring them up to the counter and then you're waiting there another 20 or 30 minutes because now they have to price check everything. And basically you're trying, you're maximizing their profits and they're kind of like exploiting the customer into finding the books for them. So I mostly just bought these books just as run fillers and I felt like this is pretty much the last time I'm going to this uh, comic book store. First up, it's uh, something that actually f fell or they priced it for me in order to be eligible for the dollar sale. That's Batman number 393. That's, I mostly got that because it's a high grade copy. Next up is uh, Batman number 397. It's a Two Face issue. Then uh, Batman number 563, the first J. Michael Strastin. Strast I can't even pronounce it. His first work on the Batman series. Uh, this one is part of the Hush storyline, Batman number 611. The main reason I mostly got that was because it's a newsstand and it's not even that. Um, high grade and part of one of the reasons that I kind of had a sour taste in my mouth is that I've actually managed to find the entire series of this and this is the only book that I was able to walk away with and that's Batman Beyond number four from the original series I'm like oh my goodness like I found a number one direct issue a direct uh edition copy of it they wanted 250 dollars for that issue number two terry mcginnis's first um appearance in the bat suit they wanted 50 dollars for that issue number three the first full appearance of blight they wanted 50 for that uh, i found number six the first appearance of ink they wanted 70 dollars for that and coincidentally none of that fell into the discount you know, so aside from these couple of books that i picked up i'm pretty sure i'm never going back to that chain of lcs's again but on the brighter side like everything that i didn't spend at that store i managed to put towards a couple of decent key issues which um next up is uh, Detective Comics number 311, the first full appearance of the Catman. Uh, given James Gunn's affinity for relatively obscure characters, like I don't want to speculate or nothing, but it's just something that I want to like be on my toes about because he can literally pluck any character from any era and then just use it in a movie and before you know it, these relatively obscure characters can shoot up in price. And uh, speaking of which, this next key issue, I managed to snag a, a good deal on it on eBay. Mostly because right now, all the current slate of DC movies are already dead on arrival. Like Aquaman has been shot three or four times already. Uh, supposedly... Word of mouth is that James Wan isn't even directing this movie. This, and like the reshoots and stuff, is pretty much being made without him at this point, under guidance of James Gunn. But it's a uh, Aquaman number twenty nine, the first appearance of Norm, the Ocean Master. Uh, this one is more of a lower to mid grade. I managed to only pick it up for like 60 bucks on eBay. Now, uh, next up, it's a book that I've been contemplating getting for a while. And it cost a pretty penny. And I, I've been making kind of jokes online that is like 
because he's a WWE contracted wrestler, but he's using a TBS WB character, which is associated with AEW wrestling. That is, is there a potential for crossover? Um, he hasn't shown up in a WWE game yet, but he's already confirmed for DLC character in Mortal Kombat 1 and he's rumored possibly to be returning pending that Aquaman and the Blue Beetle don't flop and WB has enough money to actually go forward with their WC uh, WB DC movies and shows and I got a question for you guys do you really want to taste it it's fighting five number 40 the first full appearance of the peacemaker now this one did pretty much cost an arm and a leg but i didn't pay too much of an exorbitant price but it's enough to where i felt kind of guilty but at the same time it's like this book doesn't pop up too much at a reasonable price for me you know i've kind of taken after mercy not where if it's more than five dollars like i'm already iffy about it but any book that's over two or three hundred dollars not that i'm saying i spent more or less but hey, if this is a uh, buy once cry once so i don't even have to think about this ever again so let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching bye